Hi, I'm Landon Trost. And I'm Josh Savage from the Male Fertility and Pronies Clinic. The following animation demonstrates a vasectomy reversal procedure. Now the goal of a vasectomy reversal is to repair the vas deferens to allow sperm to return to the ejaculate. Now although there are several reasons why this may be performed, it's most commonly done to restore fertility. The relevant anatomy is demonstrated in the following animation. Here you can see the vas deferens, the parsite of the vasectomy, with scarred region, the epididymis, and the testicle. A vasectomy reversal starts by making an incision in the scrotum and identifying the prior location where the vasectomy was performed. Once identified, the previously scarred segment is removed, and the fluid is sampled from the opening closer to the testicle. Now at this point, an important decision is made. If sperm are present, as seen on the left figure, this means that the upper vas can be directly reconnected to the lower vas. This is known as a vasovasostomy, or VV, and is sometimes referred to as a simple repair. However, if no sperm are seen, then this means that there is a blockage that is further down, closer to the testicle, and this means that the vas will need to be attached to the epididymis. Prior to making the connection, the epididymis is incised and the fluid is sampled. If sperm are seen, the connection is completed. If not, a new location is selected and the sampling is repeated until sperm are seen. This is known as an epididymovasostomy, or EV for short, and is sometimes referred to as a complex repair. Depending what is seen, this means that the patient may end up having a VV on both sides, uh, a VV on one side only, or an EV on both sides, all depending on whether or not sperm are seen on each side. This difference is very important to highlight because in our experience, an EV is required on both sides in 9% of cases, and an EV is required on one side in an additional 21% of cases. But many patients do not realize that the majority of surgeons performing vasectomy reversals are not able to do an EV if needed. Therefore, it's really in your best interest to do your homework in advance and to assure that the surgeon you select is able to perform an EV if needed. Otherwise, you'll be getting a suboptimal surgery in approximately 30% of cases. Now, this is particularly relevant and true since it's not possible to know in advance if you're going to need an EV or not. Once the procedures are completed, the newly connected regions are returned into the body and the wound is closed. A sterile bandage is applied and the surgery is completed. Well, thank you for joining us for this short video on the vasectomy reversal procedure. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out by email or by phone. Additionally, if you would like a personalized assessment of your success rate based on patients who had characteristics similar to your own, you're invited to visit our website and complete an online form. There are also other helpful resources including the most commonly asked questions about vasectomy reversals and online scheduling. We hope that this will all be helpful as you continue to research and learn about vasectomy reversals. Well, thank you again for taking the time to join us.